Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. Today, we're diving into an important topic for anyone considering or currently using MOTC peptide therapy. We'll be talking about injection site reactions, an actual common side effect for many patients who use MOTC. Whether you're just starting treatment or have been using MOTC for a while, understanding what to actually expect and how to manage these reactions can make all the difference in your experience. So stick around as we break it all down from symptoms to solutions right here on the Peptide Podcast. So when it comes to injectable treatments, an injection site reaction refers to any type of irritation or physical response at the spot where the needle enters the skin. For MOTC, these reactions can range from mild to moderate, and in very rare cases, even more severe reactions. Typical reactions include redness, swelling, pain, itching, or even a lump at the injection site. First, let's break down the most common signs of injection site reactions for MOTC. So the first thing I want to talk about is redness or discoloration. This is one of the most commonly reported reactions where the area around the injection site becomes visibly red or irritated. Another common issue is where a small, sometimes hard lump forms under the skin where you injected. This may be accompanied by mild swelling and can last a few hours or even up to a day or two. Mild pain is often reported as well, which can feel like soreness or even tenderness at the injection site typically disappearing after a short time. Itching can also occur after an injection, and sometimes a rash may develop, which is usually mild and should be really localized to the injection site and not all over your body. Many MOTC users experience a temporary reaction, so just keep this in mind, that can somewhat be uncomfortable, but is usually not severe. And the time it takes for the reaction to begin and resolve on its own can really vary from person to person. Most injection sites site reactions appear within a few minutes to a few hours after the injection. In the case of MOTC, users usually feel tenderness or notice a redness and swelling very shortly after the injection. It's not uncommon for mild itching to follow within a few minutes as well. For many people, the reaction will last anywhere from a few hours to even two days, and redness and swelling usually start to subside within 12 to 24 hours. The lump or bump that forms under the skin may take a little bit longer to disappear, which can actually happen from about one to two days after you give yourself the injection. Now, while most reactions are short-lived and relatively mild, they can be bothersome to some. However, there are things that you can do to help minimize discomfort and speed up your recovery. So how do we actually manage injection site reactions after we give ourselves MOTC? So if you're experiencing an injection site reaction, don't panic. First things first, there are a few things that you can do to help make this process more comfortable for you. So Ice packs and heat pads are a must. So right after the injection, applying a cold compress can really help with swelling and pain. After a few hours, you can switch to a warm compress, which can help ease any lingering discomfort or even swelling if you're experiencing that. And be sure to wrap the ice or the heat pack in a cloth to avoid direct contact with your skin. You really don't want to um, have any sort of burning from a hot pack that you use or even frostbite from an ice pack that you keep on your skin for too long. The next thing I want to talk about is massaging. So gently massaging the area can sometimes help disperse the fluid buildup under the skin, especially if you're dealing with a small lump. You'll just want to make sure to wait a few hours after the injection before gently rubbing the area. This really allows the initial inflammation and discomfort to really settle down a bit before applying pressure to the site. And when you do begin rubbing, use a gentle intermittent circular motion. You don't want to massage continuously or too aggressively, and you also also want to avoid applying too much pressure as that can really worsen the swelling or add additional irritation. A few, a few short minutes should do it and help you to get through this. Some people find relief from topical creams like hydrocortisone, which is an anti-itch cream, which will help to soothe the area if you have itching or irritation that is your problem. You'll really want to be cautious, though, when applying it to the injection site. So make sure that you just put a thin layer because if you really um, glob it on there, it can cause some further irritation. Another thing you want to try to do is rotate your injection sites. One of the best ways to prevent persistent reaction is really switching up those injection sites. If you always like to inject in your stomach, that's fine, but just make sure the next time you inject into your stomach that you move the injection site over by about an inch and always remember to stay away from injecting directly into your belly button. This will really help to make sure that no one area of the skin becomes overly irritated or even scarred. It also gives each site some time to heal before being used again. 
The last thing I want to talk about is proper injection technique. So if you're administering the MOTC injection yourself, you'll want to make sure that you follow all the instructions for proper technique that was given to you by your peptide specialist or your healthcare professional. You'll always want to use a clean needle and make sure the injection site is clean with an alcohol swab prior to injecting. And also ask your healthcare provider about the right angle that you should be injecting with, as that can really help to reduce the risk of complications and minimize irritation. Now, the most important thing is that if you experience any signs of a possible allergic reaction, such as hives, a rash all over your body, swelling of your face, lips, or tongue, or even symptoms of an infection like pus coming from the injection site, you may have a fever or get chills, it's really important to not try to treat yourself. You'll want to contact your healthcare provider immediately. And they'll simply just suggest an alternative treatment or provide more guidance on how to manage the reaction safely. Just remember, injection site reactions are a no known common side effect of MOTC therapy. The key is to be prepared and proactive. Really understanding what to expect and knowing how to manage the discomfort can make your experience with MOTC so much better. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. If you found this podcast helpful, please be sure to subscribe and leave a review if you have time. And as always, have a happy, healthy week.